you so much. I like you. Thank you. Just kidding, I love you, bye. I'm just having one of those weeks, you guys, where the gloomy sky, the lack of sunshine, I need a little more vitamin D because it is just like overcast every day. I really wanna light a candle, watch a movie, stay in bed, and that's about it. I know I'm not alone, so bear with me. I have a lot of products here in front of me that are so weird, so strange. They are from the drugstore that I wanted to try out, and I think it's actually the perfect day to do this because after this video, I'm probably gonna go and do some laundry, reorganize my closet, do like basic around the house things, which means I'll be in my house and not out in public because I don't have a lot of faith for the items that are in front of me. I mean, I even have like a glow powder brow palette from Catrice. We have this weird instant cheek maker, a neutralizer, some glitter stuff. We have this, which is a liner liquid lipstick. What? From Rimmel, I have this Wonder Swipe two-in-one liner shadow. I felt like I had a spider on me or something. Um, from, uh, uh, uh. Ding, ring the bell. Um, I'm just gonna start saying that every time I mess up. I'll just pause myself and be like, <clears throat> where was I, ring the bell. This is the Rimmel Wonder Swipe two-in-one liner to shadow. And it's supposed to do all things. So we're gonna just check it out and see if it really does that, play around with the different colors. You know, when I do these more laid back videos, testing out weird products, and it's more about just putting the product itself to the test, Ding, ding, ring the bell. When it's more about testing the product and not coming up with this fabulous, gorgeous glam look, you know, in the routine of it all, when I'm just like trying things on, wiping them off, trying them on, wiping them off, and really exploring what the product is all about, I think that's really fun. It's really satisfying to me, and it's actually something that I do uh, in my free time. <laughs> I actually, in my bathroom, I have a little basket of products that I'm like, test at nighttime before you wash off makeup. Really getting to know a product in that way from texture, color, saturation, application, just everything A to Z, that is how I do the bulk of my research for products. That's how I make my notes, and that's how I continue to explore things so that when I sit down here and I'm talking about something, I'm well versed on it and I have worn a product a few times, tried it a few different ways. So that is something that I do just to research, but also it's fun. I encourage you guys to do that. If you're, you know, just kind of playing with products, seeing what goes together, you can always come up with like new combinations too with like lip looks and eye looks and it's just kind of a good thing to do. I'm talking so much. Wow, is this deodorant or face primer? This looks like my Donna Karen deodorant. I'm not even joking. <laughs> what the hell? Um, side note, I do still occasionally use this. It smells so good. Donna Karen Cashmere Mist was like my like high school scent, if you will. Like I just remember all of us girls, I have three sisters. I'm smack dab in the middle. And growing up, we all shared a bathroom and we also shared a lot of beauty products because we were all just kind of like together. And Cashmere Mist was one of those that we would always be like, it's my turn, spritz, it's my turn, spritz. And we would have to like share it. Anyway, I'm like attached to that scent, random side note. Okay, so let's go into priming the face. This is the Revolution Pro Blur Stick. I kind of like how beefy this is. It's a little bit like the Milk Primer, but they're not as, this is like large and in charge, right? This just feels gross. I'm gonna put like just tart on like half of my face and see if I tell a difference, you know? Um, hello, hi, yes. Okay, so up close, I can immediately tell a difference. And whenever I am trying out a new blurring primer, I always kind of go into this one and really do my press and blend motion and then take a mirror really super up close and see like who's doing better. This is just not it for me. It just feels too greasy and it didn't really blur that intensely. So moving on, I'm actually just gonna do my foundation super quickly. I'm gonna use a favorite of mine, the Infallible. You guys don't need to watch me apply this. You've seen me do it 5,000 times. I just wanna get a base on and then get to the other products we're testing out. 
Moving right into brows because I need them. I need some brows. I do wanna play with this matte and glow brow powder. Now it does have that glowy powder, which is interesting because this is probably the most metallic glowy powder that I have seen for a brow kit like this. I do actually like a little bit of shimmer in a brow powder sometimes, and it can look really beautiful. I know that Anastasia and Senna Cosmetics, they have setting brow gel that has just like a hint of mica, a hint of sheen, and the reflect of it just does something nice to bring this like warmth and glow to the eye area, and I really, really love it. This seems like it's very, very intense. The shimmer seems really intense, but I do wanna try it out. And I also am very curious to try this out. This is the Fill and Fluff Brow Pencil from NYX. Now this I saw on shelves before the Rihanna pencil that came out. They're almost identical. I was gonna save this for a dupes video. Obviously, Curiosity is getting the best of me and I wanted to try this out on camera. It looks like a little artiste brush on the end instead of a spoolie. And I guess that's supposed to kind of like rub the product through. I'm not entirely sure, but you know, let's go on this journey together and see what happens and Hopefully it's good. I think I like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, at first I really liked this and now I'm just like, can I just get a spoolie because I don't know it like just smudges it almost a little bit too much. And because I have thinner brows to begin with, I don't know that I'm a fan of that. I think maybe if you have um, thicker brows, this could be a nice, easy, quick way to spread the product everywhere. But for me, that shadow gets moved a little bit too much for my taste. Okay, moving on, we're gonna go into the Catrice Brow Palette. And now what I wanna do first is go in with the dark powder itself. I'm just gonna use their tool that they have in here. Pray for me. Um, and we're gonna go and just deepen up the brow a little bit more. It's like the world's smallest spoolie. <laughs> Um, this is not really a great brow day for me, sadly. Uh, let's go in with the metallic, because at this point I'm kind of just like, well, why not? Yikes, pass, pass. We haven't found one item that I'm like, oh yeah, this is like pretty great. I'm hoping that we find that within this video and that it's not all like weird drugstore products. Everything sucks, you know? I would like to like my makeup today. I never go into these like hoping that it looks like a disaster. Okay, so this is a blush and highlight duo. I don't know that that's so much a blush. Here's the highlight portion of it. I'm gonna go in with the more pink one. This scares me for some reason. I fully get that this is intended to hug right here and it's shaped to like do the sweep, but there's something about this that I'm like, Ugh, like I just wanna grab a brush. That's my natural tendency, but three, two, one, let's just do it. No, let's try the other one on this side. Okay, uh, wow. Once it's blended, it won't be that bad. Okay, the color of this is pretty. It's blending out nicely. I just would use a brush, fingertips. You don't have to go in with that swipe. I think the placement is gonna be a little bit off for every single person. We all have different structure and that glide, while it sounds like a great idea, might not be the most flattering areas for you to place the color and highlight, just saying. I think the texture of this product is really killer. Like I really do. I just personally think that taking something like this and more so hitting the exact area that you want 
is gonna be a lot better for you. From there, I do want to set the face. I have this Mineral Wear 3-in-1 Setting Powder. Now, this is kind of interesting because you really have everything right here and there are three different areas that are divided off and you can kind of pick and choose how you wanna set your makeup. I think that's really interesting. And this is safe for sensitive skin. You have a baking powder in here, a setting powder, and a brightening powder. It's kind of neat. I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and make sure that the under eye area is just looking good and crease free. It says that this is a baking powder. I don't know. I tapped a bunch out. I'm gonna take a sponge, how I would normally bake. It's very finely milled, almost like a more pigmented HD-esque type powder. It is also extremely yellow in tone. I'm gonna let that uh, kind of just hang out and warm up a little bit. Wow, pulling the tab things on here is really tough. Do it with tweezers is my recommendation. I'm gonna get a little bit of the translucent and the brightening powder ready to go. And while we're waiting for the bake to kind of do its thing, why don't we move to lips? I have some really fun lip products in front of me. I thought it was really different that these were considered liners slash liquid lips. I actually think this might make a lot of sense because you can really, really get that outer edge, kind of pull the color forward to the center of the lip and it's like an all-in-one liquid lip look, right? Obviously, what do you think I'm gonna go for? I'm totally going for the blue, right? No, let's do red, let's be sassy. The overall look is not great, I'm aware of that, but I do like the concept of this particular liquid lip. I think it's really cool. I wish the formula was not so, oh, it's almost waxy and I wish it was a little bit richer in pigmentation, but it's not bad. And I really, really, really love that applicator. I think that is the coolest. I actually super, super love that. I am gonna blot just a tiny bit off. And now I wanna top it with this like crazy, super chunky glitter glass from Lottie London. Okay, that feels, ugh, but it looks cool, right? Mmm, glitter for breakfast. <laughs> Why do I like that? I mean, it kind of feels like I just rubbed sand on my mouth. Mmm, make sure that you are not eating with a product like this on because you will get it in your mouth. I don't know how great that is for you to be ingesting chunky bits of glitter, but if you are going to a party and you want something fun and you want something to photograph really like extra fun and a little more glittery and not the norm, then I think this kind of a thing is really, really cool. I do like it. Moving on, let's go ahead and dust off this bake. Oh, no, 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 no. That is super, super pigmented. Personally, you guys, if you're gonna bake, use something that leans almost translucent, not a lot of color, or really match it closely to your skin tone or just a touch brighter. Oh my God, terrible. Okay, so let's try a little bit of the pink brightening. The powder itself is not bad. They have a really, really great mineral foundation and loose mineral powder from Physicians Formula that's talc-free. Love it so much. Uh, so the formulation of their powders is great. I thought the trio idea was so cool, but there's too much pigment in these. Like it's just not, it's just not doing it. I am gonna take a little bit of the translucent just to set the rest of my face. Okay is what it is. I am gonna try this Rosé All Day Petal Glow from Physicians Formula. This says it has a light catching skin perfecting finish. It is enriched with rose extract to help soothe and calm the skin. It smells like straight up perfumey kind of hairspray. I was expecting it to smell like rose. 
All right, that is a very subtle highlight. This is pretty. It's not strong and it has more of that iridescent glow than an actual metallic champagne or you know, a, a silvery pink. Okay, let's tone down all the crazy different colors I have on my face with a hit of this color correcting powder. Now with these, you always wanna swirl your brush around and then do a little bit of this. That's actually not half bad. I really love using these from Guerlain. It is a favorite of mine. It makes your skin look very creamy and it just does that extra little, mm, the extra little something. Most people don't notice it, I notice it. I feel like it just kind of smooths everything out and gives this like nice kind of creamy balance and just a, a hint of a sheen to make everything look super blended. And it is one of my, you know, kind of go-to secret tricks, if you will. Uh, I don't often recommend this because it's so expensive and most people put it on and they're like, I don't see a difference. But this kind of an idea of a color correction with a sheen or the ambient lighting powders from Hourglass, same kind of a thing. I'm really into it. Um, and I do feel like this kind of took away a little bit of shine and added just like a kiss of like sheer color. And when you swirl all of it together, it does do something nice. So that's, we have a winner. We have a couple winners. Going to the eyes, I really wanna put on this clay eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. first and then play with the liner shadows from Rimmel second. What makes this clay? I don't get it. It's like a big call out, like clay shadow. It's so amazing. Um, I'm gonna go in here into, I'm actually gonna go right into the darker one. Let's be just a little bit bold. These don't seem to be really pigmented, which is fine. I just want a wash of something. Or I lied, wow. <laughs> Hi, I know what I'm doing, I'm a professional. <laughs> Now I'm just taking a clean brush and just kind of really buffing over everything. This is better than I thought it would be. I actually really like this. I'm gonna take a little bit of the more metallic one because at this point I am just curious and I'm gonna swipe that on the lid. Not bad, right? I feel like I need to deepen up right in there though. Okay, so I'm ready for Halloween and this just went into an entirely different direction than I anticipated. Let's go in now to a little bit of this Rimmel Wonder Swipe. I kind of just want to go in with this shade. It's a little more bold and loud and we're just not caring if things look super great or matching or whatever. We're just having Fun. I want to go in with this and line and then on the other eye I'll use it more as a shadow how they say that you can I actually really like that. Oh my gosh. I super super like that You know what I want to do just because it'll drive me insane is I'm gonna blot down the lip and put on something a little bit more nude no, oh my God, this is a bad idea. <laughs> my lips are being exfoliated by glitter at the moment. They're gonna be baby soft. Okay, now I, what I wanna do is try out another drugstore item. This is not necessarily weird, wild, wacky, any of that. It's just a lip pencil lipstick from NYX. It's a lingerie push-up. I think that these look super good. Oh my God, why is this minty? Are you a plumper? Whew, what is minty about that? It's minty. All right, I need some kind of gloss. I know this is not drugstore. Uh, forgive me, we're going into house labs. Okay, see that looks so much more balanced now with the eye, I need bronzer too. We're just doing it. I decided that I don't wanna look bad today because that eyeshadow turned out pretty cute, right? Now things are feeling just more balanced in my opinion. I have a little more bronzer. I have 
just more normal Tati-esque type makeup going on. So I want to now go on the other eye with this Rimmel product and really kind of bring it up and see how it performs as a shadow. And then I'll probably blend out this eye as well. I like the liner. I think that's a really fun, different look. And I like the versatility of this. I don't think you get a ton of product in here. Obviously, it's not gonna cost you more than 10 bucks. Uh, it is a drugstore item, so it should get you enough wears to feel kind of like worth your while. I would recommend if you're gonna use it as a shadow, don't swipe it on the lid. Just kind of grab from the applicator with a brush and do a stippling motion and stamp it on the eye. And now to match, I am gonna do a little bit of a wing, kind of how I did on the other eye. I think this is such a pretty, pretty color. I wanna go in with one more color on the lid. I'm gonna take the iridescent one and use my brush and just kind of really get in that inner corner and see if it brightens it up. I'm quite shocked at how much I like these. I also wanna try out an angled liner, felt tip liner from Revlon to do a wing liner. I'm gonna pop on some mascara. And this actually turned out quite cute and I'm like matching, I'm matching my little thunderbolt here, which is super cute too. All right, clearly I wanted to have a little more fun because we're really just testing the limits of these products, why not? I am gonna sharpen up this edge. I don't know if that shape is necessary or helpful. The formula seems pretty great on the Revlon liner, but it's not, I mean, I'm not like wowed by like how easy my wing was because of the shape. Also, to those of you out there, don't do this kind of a huge wing unless you are a pro and you know your eye shape and you're so super skilled. Like I've been doing this for years and I feel like I still have to correct things all of the time. Not so much when I'm using liners that I know how they work, but normally do this business where you're gonna pull a wing really far out before you do your foundation and everything so that you're not like wiping away, reapplying. It's just gonna be easier for you. All right, I'm testing out a new mascara from Boots number no. seven, or number no. seven is technically the brand. This is the Lash Extender Infinite, Infinite, Infinite Volume. Hmm. I'm picky, you guys know that. I, it's just not doing what I need it to do. Let's crack into a brand new Lash Paradise. This has been a minute. I am out of my Collab Beauty mascara and it is sold out everywhere. It's the craziest thing. You guys are so awesome, but also it's like we're all in this like, you know, beauty loving club. And I love that you love my recommendations. And it always shocks me when I'm like, dang, like it's sold out everywhere. I can't buy it. The product that I recommended, you know? All right, let's go with some Lash Paradise. Okay, we're gonna pop on some lashes. I have these Elky, I don't, I mean, I kind of think they're appropriate, right? These are like major. Ugh, I'm gonna have to redo the lips again. The glitter on my lips is making me feel feelings. Also, I don't think I'm a fan of how minty that lip lingerie is. I didn't think that it was uh, a lip plumper. I thought it was just like a chubby, lip crayon, but it like tingled too much. And I think the friction from that glitter was just irritating my mouth. So, mm. All right, it's a great day when you test out weird products that you think will all suck and some of them do. And then you land with a look that you really enjoy. You guys I actually really, really like my makeup like this. I like it, I think it's so fun. It's a lot. Um, but it's really fun. What do you think? Leave it in the comments below. Are you in it to the blue metallic? Would you guys wear this kind of a thing? What was your favorite product that you saw? And are there other weirder things at the drugstore that maybe I've overlooked? I am always so game to try it out. So just let me know. Wow. When has weird AF makeup ever turned out like this? 
Like, hello, I love it. I am ready to do more than organize my closet. That is for sure. All right, you guys, here we are with the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this video of me testing out stuff that just kind of made me go, ooh, ah, just like an extra little bit because it did more than one thing, like the liner slash shadow, or had a metallic factor where normally you don't with the brows. It just was interesting to try these things that aren't your basic concealer, blush highlight. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed if you have not yet done that so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. I hope you come back and hang out again. I'm going to go and like live my best life in this makeup and take selfies. And I really like it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And that's about it. Go have a good one. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.